In this playlist of orthopedic rehabilitation protocol, we will discuss the knee joint. The knee joint pathology that we will discuss is the medial collateral ligament injury. Knee joint we will discuss and the fourth pathology this is that is the medial collateral ligament injury. This is most common. It occurs often a it occur following a traumatic valgus stress often well while the knee is slightly flexed knee is the slightly flexed position and any traumatic valgus force valgus force means from the outside lateral side of the knee often cause mcl medial collateral ligament injury it's more common in the athletes according to its grades it has three grades in the grade one the symptoms signs and test we will discuss in the grade 1, the symptoms are mild, medial pain, possibility of the swelling, medial edema and the tenderness we can see and also the limbing. The signs we will see is the edema and tenderness. The test we will do for the grade 1 of MCL injury is the positive valgus stress test. In the grade 2, this is moderate medial pain, swelling and limbing we can see. Instability is often present. The signs we will see is the edema and tenderness, same before. And the test we can do is the positive McMary test, positive valgus stress test. This is the sign of a MCL injury grade 2. In case of grade 3, this is severe medial pain, swelling, knee give away into the valgus. Knee joint biomechanics become changed in the severe condition and signs mark medial edema and the tenderness. Signs are the same in all the grades. The test we will do is the Lachman test for the ACL stability should be accompanied when a grade 3 MCL instability is present. We can go for Lachman test. These are the tests we can do in the MCL injury. The most common test in all the grades is the valgus stress test. This is the first test that we do is the valgus stress test. In this test patient lying supine, the knee is fully extended, place one hand hand laterally to the knee and the other grasping the lower tibia and slightly external rotated by the physiotherapist. Palpate the medial joint line while applying abduction force at the foot and the valgus force through the knee joint. This is the position. The second part of the test applies the same valgus stress with the knee slightly flexed to 30 degree. If there is any pain are the medial side gapping, excessive gapping, then this is the positive sign of a valgus stress test. Any asymmetry is considered a positive finding and medial laxity of 3 to 5 mm show an injury to the superficial MCL, while the laxity of 5 to 7 mm suggests injury to the deep MCL and posterior medial corner if there is the laxity of 3 to 5 then it is the superficial mcl if there is a laxity of 5 to 7 millimeter then it is the deep mcl the second test we will do is the swain test it is performed with the knee flex to the 90 degree and tibia externally rotated when the knee is externally rotated in flexion, the collateral ligaments are tightened, while the cruciate ligaments are re relatively laxed. We need to tighten the collateral ligament because MCL, we go for MCL test, medial collateral ligament test. If the patient feel pain along the medial side of the joint, indicate the injury to the MCL. This is the second test. First test is the valgus stress test and the second test is the swan test now it's time for learning rehabilitation of mcl in the grade one the phase one zero to four weeks the goal is to protect early protected range of motion prevent quadricep atrophy 
atrophy means size of muscle decrease so prevent atrophy decrease effusion or any pain the intervention we do in the acute or phase 1 is the pain and swelling management ice protocol ice compression and elevation range of motion and mobility both passive and active range of motion whirlpool for range of motion cold for first three to four days then do warm therapy in the acute phase we go for cold so next strengthening in the phase one we also go for strengthening isometric squats quad sets slr adduction isometrics isometrics means the having the muscle having same length hamstring isometric sets quads and hamstring is very important for the knee strengthening electrical muscle stimulation ems to quads eight hours a day assistive devices we use is the crushes weight bearing as tolerated by the patient and his condition in the phase two of mcl rehabilitation it's of four to six weeks the goal in this phase is to pain less range of motion restore strengthening ambulation without crutches weight bearing as tolerated by the patient with brace if there is a need return to sport when strength agility control equal or better than the unaffected leg if the patient condition improve he can return to the sports activities the intervention we do is the strengthening continue electrical muscle stimulation to quads during isometric isotonic strengthening isotonic mean the muscles when muscles have same tone full range of motion exercises this is the phase two we do strengthening water exercises running in the water forward and backward it's also for strengthening flexibility exercises flexibility exercises improve the range of motion hamstring quads it band at straw this is for the lower extremity especially Propiocep proprioception training proprioception mean joint awareness of the joint positioning balance drills emphasize close chain exercises in which distal extremity is uh, a distal extremity is not uh, open or op are openly used these are the close chain exercises in which we used any kind of theraband or something lunges squats lateral squats wall squats bicycle for endurance with the appropriate progression if the patient can tolerate we can use bicycling weight shift tilt board squats may initiate isokine isokinetic the exercise which have same speed some maximum maximum fast contracted velocities begin running program if full painless extension and flexion is possible if the patient has no pain then patient can go with the running program next we have rehabilitation table for the grade 2 this you can see in the phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and phase 4 these all have goals of treatment and have the physio treatment in the phase 1 we have a goal of reduce swelling knee range of motion exercises hamstring quad strengthening and the physio treatment in this is the knee brace weight bearing as tolerated knee flexion extension range of motion exercises gait retraining in the phase two it's of four to six weeks in this goal of treatment we have strengthening of all the lower extremities and the physio treatment in this is the range of motion exercises functional activities agility balance sports specific training in the phase three of goal of treatment we have full range of motion strengthening stretching exercises proprioceptive training and in the physio treatment we have agility drills repetitive movement for the strengthening of the muscles and in the last phase it's of eight to twelve weeks in this phase goal of treatment is to return to the sports activities while the physio treatment is the high level sports specific training these are according to the 
patient condition and this is for the grade 2 MCL rehabilitation and as before this is for the grade 3 MCL rehabilitation 12 to 16 weeks in this you can see the goal is to immobilize brace locked in extremity range of motion exercises and weight bearing exercises strengthening isolated strength strengthening isometrics isokinetics these are all from the initial stage of the patient to the uh, when the patient returned to his sports activities you can see from up to the lower he began from here and then he returned to his sports activities gradually and this is the question tell me what is the test we can do for the mcl injury Thank you.